We're going to do an AP knee. We're going to be doing the right knee of Mr. Daniel here. Scoot up on the table a little bit for me. All right. Uh, best to start, as always, guys, the table in the middle of the, of the base. Don't have it on either end. That way we don't overload the table. Right knee is hurt. you correct? Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead and straighten both legs out for me. All right. What are we going to have our central ray at? Where do we want our central ray for these? Half an inch inferior to the apex of the patella. Half an inch inferior or half an inch distal to the apex of the patella. Uh, your cassette orientation can be either lengthwise or crosswise. Lengthwise is easier just because we're doing the, the long part of the body here. All right. Normally your patient would not have pants on. We're not going to make him roll them up. We're good. Remember, now that we're using the bucky, we always have to be detented. Do we need any kind of angle for this patient? No. 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 Um, if he was a lot thicker, what type of angle would we have? Cephalic. Five degrees cephalic if we needed to. Yeah. All right. So right now we want to be right on the knee, correct? Right on, right in the mid patella, right? No. no. <laughs> distal. There we go. Half inch distal. We're doing the right one, so remember, guys, we can move the table, we can move the patient as well. Put over to your left just a little bit for me. Ideally, when you have the patient lying on the table, whichever you're doing, left or right, try to get the affected leg right in the center line. That way, you don't have to move the table all the way over. Makes your job a little easier. So, we're going to find the patella. This is the apex of the patella right here. Two fingers, half an inch. As I said, be sure that we are lined up. Be sure that your CR and your IR are lined up properly. Marker goes medial or lateral? Lateral, lateral. lateral always. SID should be what, guys? 40. 40. 40. 40. Not, not yeah, tabletop, grid. 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 Exactly, because we're using the grid now. Still good. How do we want these epicondyles in this projection? Parallel to the, to, to, to the IR, to the tabletop. So what do we normally need to do with the leg? Do we need to rotate it? Do we... Five degrees internal. Three to five degrees medial rotation to get these epicondyles parallel. So remember, three to five is very little. If this is where he sits normally, three to five is right there. I can feel the epicondyles right here, parallel with the IR. Centered half an inch distal, half an inch inferior to the apex of the patella. I'm lined up. My collimation field is good. Uh, got enough of the distal fit, uh, femur, proximal tip fib. What do we tell the patient to do? Hold still. Hold still, don't move, right? All right, take the exposure, we're done. All right, what's next, guys? We're going to do the medial oblique. How much do we want the body part rotated for an oblique? 45, 45 degrees, right? Just the foot, just the leg, what? The entire leg, right? Yeah. All right, so kind of like we've done on other things, I'm going to abduct it a little bit first so that way when we rotate it, we're still centered. So we're going to feel these epicondyles and rotate inward medially, 45 degrees. So we want between these epicondyles, we want them at a 45 degree angle to the table. Do we change our central ray? No. no. Still needs to be where? Half an inch, half an inch distal to the apex. Half an inch distal to the apex of the patella. Right there. Keep your marker. Do we have any angle on the oblique? No. If we had an angle on the AP, would we leave it for the oblique? No. No. We would take it off for the oblique. Oblique, we want perpendicular, CR perpendicular to the IR. Always, again, double check that you're lined up. All right, patient, hold still right there. Don't move. There's your next exposure. All right, go ahead and relax your leg. What's next? Lateral. Lateral. What type of lateral do we do? Medial lateral. Medial lateral. So, patient, let me have you roll to your right side for me. Where do we want the unaffected leg? Do we want to bring it over or keep it behind? Why don't we want it on top? We're going to wind up over rotating the hips and the body part. Exactly. Do we have an angle for this one? Yes. Yes. How much? It's three to five. Five to seven. 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 Five to seven.
cephalic. All right, so we're going to put five degrees on for this young man here. Central ray needs to be where? All right, so I feel the medial epicondyle here. One inch. How much do we want the leg flexed? 20 to 30. 20 to 30. So let's bend your knee a little bit more for me, sir. I'm going to have to have you rotate your hips a little bit more towards me. Good. How do we want the epicondyles in this projection? Superimposed. Superimposed. What's the one thing that I forgot to do when I add an angle? Anybody catch? Exactly. Remember, when we add the angle, we need to remember to recenter the IR and the CR. Now we're centered. Five degrees cephalic angle. Where do we want the central ray again? To the medial epicondyle. And we want the epicondyles in what relation to the IR? Perpendicular. What about the patella? How do we want in relation to the IR? Perpendicular. Perpendicular as well. So, palpate borders. I can feel that the, the lateral border is a little more anterior, so bring your hips down just a little. A little bit more in. Be sure that they don't rotate this leg over too much. A little bit. All right, I can feel the, the medial lateral borders of the patella are perpendicular. We're lined up. Patient instructions here would be what? Hold still. Hold still, don't move. What's the one thing that we didn't do? Shield. 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 Yeah, you would obviously have the patient shielded for all of this. Questions? No.